Hey everyone, today I have the Google Pixel 7 and we're going to be doing a portrait photo shoot and later on testing out some night sight photos to see what the camera capabilities are like for this phone for both photo and video. So let's get started with our photo shoot. Could you please sit on the curb just here? We've got like a little bit of sun, a little bit of shade. Starting off with some like full body shots first. You even wanted to have this like here if you have it as if you're sitting cross-legged, yeah. For today's photo shoot and review, I'm starting off using the wide camera. I'm taking photos with RAW plus JPEG turned on to be able to see what both files look like. So throughout the video, I'll share the unedited photos so you can see exactly what this camera is capable of and my edited version of the photos as well. The Pixel 7 shares the same 50 megapixel quad bay wide camera as the 7 Pro. It's the full frame equivalent of 24 millimeters and makes use of autofocus, which I found to be super responsive throughout our portrait photo shoot. And then I wanted to get like a little bit of like a close up here. I don't know if you wanted to pop the jacket kind of off your shoulders a little. I'm very excited to be sharing a camera review on the Pixel 7 today since this is a mid priced phone. In case you haven't seen it yet, I also uploaded a Pixel 7 Pro camera review yesterday today so I'll leave that linked in the description if you want to check it out but I thought it would also be handy to take a look at the Pixel 7 cameras this year to maybe help you out if you're stuck deciding if the base model camera is good enough for what you need or if you would prefer to use the Pro. And then I'll get a couple just like standing here as well. The wide camera handles various lighting conditions really well. We've been taking photos in backlight, shade, and dappled light so far. I think the JPEG straight out of camera files look the best with bright direct light, but overall the tones look balanced and colors are punchy in all lighting conditions. I took a couple more photos with the wide camera. Now I'm on ultra wide, so 0.7 times zoom. And I think here it'd be cool. So with the jacket, just like that, if you wanted to kind of swing your arms back a little bit, yeah. And I'm just getting like a super wide angle shot here. Ultra wide is a fixed focus 12 megapixel camera. It is the full frame equivalent of 16 millimeters. So the 7 Pro is a bit wider at 13 millimeters. To be honest, unless you take a photo side by side, you can't really tell the difference. And then let's get one if we could lean up like against one of the big branches, maybe that on that side, because it's it's less bushy. <laughs> yeah, leaning back there, or you could even sit on that little section if you want as well. For this, like it's cool if you do pretty like spread out movement, like with your elbows out and kind of like flopping over and stuff would be cool. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I feel very vulnerable down here. Yeah, <laughs> They're adorable. They're just like a little tornado that comes yeah, running in. So hard. <laughs> in my opinion, the ultra wide camera is stunning. I'm really happy with how some of these photos turned out. Even though this camera doesn't have autofocus, the image is sharp on Amal's face. We were in a bit of a tricky location with some darker trees and a pretty bright sky in the background, but I think the exposure is nicely balanced overall in the straight out of camera JPEG files. If you could stand just like in the little fluffy bit. Next up, we're gonna try out two times zoom and we've got this cool location here with like the fluffy fields and I'm gonna try and shoot at an angle so I can't see those cars up there in the background. So just through here looks really nice. And we've got the sun also, which is looking so pretty in our photos. Just like the 7 Pro 2x zoom, I'm also impressed with the quality of 2 times on the Pixel 7, which is the full frame equivalent of 48 millimeters. I think 2 times zoom looks especially good with plenty of details in the image when I'm taking very close up portraits. The Pixel 7 supports up to 8 times digital zoom, but it does not have an optical telephoto lens like the 7 Pro. Now it takes some with like the normal lens here as well because it looks so pretty. And I love when the sun comes out. Here's a photo I took with Amal and I standing in the same spot to show you the main focal lengths we have in the 7. 
ultra wide, wide and two times zoom. In my opinion, having the ultra wide and wide camera with two times is enough to be able to capture a variety of high quality photos on a mid priced phone. So in this location here, we're gonna try out portrait mode because we do have some light coming in from the background and lots of trees. So hopefully that'll make some nice bokeh in the background. In one times portrait mode, Amal is clear and in the further away shot, the outline around her is smooth, which makes the depth of field look appear more natural. In two times, the image looks over sharpened in my opinion. So in Lightroom, I lowered the clarity slider and you can see the camera quality is good enough in two times that it doesn't really need that extra sharpening. I prefer when it looks a little softer like this. Next up, we're gonna be testing out video mode. So I'm gonna be filming in 4K 60p and I'm gonna start off with the ultra wide lens first. I had a very similar experience with the 7 Pro ultra wide in video as well. Ultrawide is such a fun camera to use for video, but it seems that the phone is slightly overexposing the footage. The Pixel 7 does have an exposure slider that I could use, but I did want to share what the video looks like when I don't tap on the screen or make any adjustments. I'm also going to share some of these video examples with my own edits. I just brought down the exposure a little and I think it looks much nicer. So you can definitely replicate that within camera by using the exposure slider. Now we'll take a look at wide camera video. Even with a busy background, it did a great job at keeping focus on AMOL. This time the exposure is balanced and again, I'm not adjusting any settings in the camera app for these video examples as I feel like this replicates real world usage. During all these video shots, I am walking and moving around quite a lot. You can see image stabilization keeps the footage looking smooth and there is no jolting or jittering. In two times zoom, video is clear in these close-up shots and as I move back, I think the busy background was making it hard for the camera to decide what to focus on as it sometimes appears to focus on the background. Last but not least, before we move on to the selfie camera and night sight, I have slow motion for you. The footage is sharp and the colors look vibrant in both quarter and 1 8 speed. Again, we only have this available in 1080p. Next up, we also have to test out what the front camera looks like before we head out and do some night sight photos. So the Pixel 7 has a 10.8 megapixel front camera with an aperture of f2.2 and it is fixed focus. So I'm gonna take a photo at one time zoom and also one at 0.7 times zoom as well, which is a little bit more wide angle and I like how you can see so much of the background here. So we are now also recording in selfie video, which I am so excited that we have the option to film in 4K and in 30 or 60 FPS. So currently I'm filming in 30 FPS. It's quite a cloudy day today, so we'll see how the dynamic range looks on that. I feel like it's doing a good job at balancing the exposure on my face and the background, even as I move it around. I also thought it would be cool to do a little microphone test as usual. So here's a little example of what the lav mic sounds like. So this is what we've been using to record pretty much the whole video. And now I'm gonna switch over to the microphone of the Pixel 7 so we can hear what that sounds like. Have a little bit of birds and a little bit of a breeze. You can see my hair kind of flying around. So I've got speech enhancement turned on. So that's what that sounds like. And I wanted to do a little walking shot. So this is the terrain at the moment. It is very bumpy, very muddy and slippery as well because it's just been raining so much. So I do have some stabilization switched on. So we'll see what that footage looks like. So for these nighttime shots, we've come to the Sydney Harbour to get some photos. And if this location looks familiar, it's because I also came here with the Pixel 7 Pro to take some night sight shots as well. So if you haven't watched that review, please check it out. I'll leave the link for it in the description. So I'm going to start off by taking some one times night sight shots and I want to get a little bit of the Harbour Bridge and some of these buildings here on the left in the frame. I really love that you can see some of the stars that I can see with my naked eye in these shots. You could also see them on the 7 Pro as well, but it's just like such a nice detail to the photo. I'm also gonna take some photos with two times zoom. So for this, I'm gonna frame up those buildings on the other side of the water. I think look really, really nice. Then 
I want to see if I can get a shot of the upper house over there as well. I'm gonna crop out that light pole. Okay, so because the opera house area is pretty dark, we don't have like those huge city lights on the side. Sometimes astrophotography is getting triggered, so it takes even longer to compose the photo. So I'm trying to trigger that again so we can get another long exposure. There. Okay, and this one's taking 38 seconds. The last thing I want to try here in this harbour is taking some night sight ultra wide photos as well. So I'm going to find a couple of different compositions and get some photos and I'll pop them up on the screen for you. <laughs> Dan and I also took some night sight photos at dinner yesterday of the food and I took some portraits of Dan so I'll show you those. So that is all I have for today's review on the Google Pixel 7. I really hope you enjoyed watching that. I'd love to know which ones were your favorite photos down in the comments below. But as always, thank you so, so much for watching. I make new videos every single week, so I will see you all next time. Bye.